Oh my god. This is incredible. This is so good. I feel like I'm in the game, dude. I feel like I'm in the game. Oh my god. This is it, guys. Holy shit. Pokemon Sword. Pokemon Shield. Generation 8 on the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm ready. Oh yeah. Hi. Welcome, everyone, to our Pokemon Sword. Let's play oh my god i hope you guys are excited to join us in our first ever journey through the galar region we're, we're playing in english and uh oh my god already i am just oh i feel like a kid on christmas dude this is so exciting ah oh, i mean are you guys ready to just go on this new adventure are you guys ready oh my god it's it's time here we go boom that's me my name is Josh. It's what you guys can call me. My username, of course, is the fourth gen gamer. If you guys are new to me and what I do, like I said, my username is the fourth gen gamer. I go by Josh. I do all sorts of Pokemon stuff, and I'm going to be sharing my adventure with you guys here in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're going to be doing Pokemon Sword, and I mean, I got to be Team Sword, man. Fucking Sir Fetched, man. Oh, also, I'm not PG. Uh, you know, I do curse, so that is a thing. But uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. It's like brand new generation. You don't get this. This is like, you know, this only happens like a few times in your life, man. New generation. Let's go. Oh, we're going in. Just from the start. Let's go. Welcome one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. I have not seen that Pokemon in the leaks, dude. Holy crap. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Oh, I want to use that thing. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. This feels like larger than life. Like, oh my God. I'm like blasting the music in my ears. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Dude, look at these camera angles and everything. This looks so sick. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Dude, this is so epic. Everything looks so good. What? This is like, it's so grand. This feels grand. He got his boy Charizard. Let's go. Okay. Oh, it's that, uh... Yeah. It's the Steel Dragon type. Exhibition or not? Oh, yeah. They're just... They're trash talking. It's all good. You know I don't lose battles, Rahine. Rahine. Oh, they're going for the Dynamax right away. Look at them. Oh, my God. My boy. Dynamax. Gigantamax. Dude, that is how you get people stoked at the beginning of a game. Wow. Oh my god. This is incredible. This is so good. I feel like I'm in the game, dude. I feel like I'm in the game. Hello, hello. This is our boy Hop. Ho. Oh, that your flash new phone, Josh? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. 
Pop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Josh. Never mind watching the match now. I've got a recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Josh. He should be here any minute. Guys, look at these, like... Oh my god, this just... Oh. Wow. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget the bag if I were you. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna move my gameplay over here so it actually looks like I'm looking at it. There we go. Now, I've gotta run. See you at mine later. Oh my god. I actually did play the demo at Pokemon Worlds a little bit, so this is my first time playing since then. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, there's a... <laughs> the bonks. Bonk, 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 bonk. Dude, my bum munchlax! Look at him! Look at my boy! He's ready! I love Munchlax, dude. Munchlax is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Probably like number... Probably number two. Probably my second all-time favorite. Munchlax is just a G. Man. This just feels... This just feels great. Yo, Munchlax leaves leftovers around its bed from time to time. That's my boy Munchlax, man. Wow. You know, I'm actually going to move my gameplay back so I can actually look at you guys a little bit more. Wow. This just feels good, man. Hey, what's up, man? Rushing off in that state, Josh? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Dude, look at this. Look at this. This is like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but even better. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. This is like... This just feels great. Okay. Where's my bag again? Well, it's not my bedroom. Yeah. I, I didn't mean to go out. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, I can't go in there. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this is literally it. We don't have a door to our room? We don't get any privacy in here, man. You grabbed your dad's old bag. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Look at that. We're ready, man. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Uh, let's see. Menu's still X. You can save. There's a town map. Pretty standard stuff. Okay. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to use this for so long. Like, I've seen this in all the previews and everything. I've seen, in case you guys are wondering, I've seen, like, some leaks, but not... Like, all leaks. I've, so, I've seen something spoiled, but not everything. Okay, so options. Of course, we want fast text speed. We want to see the battle effects. We're going to do switch. Uh, send to boxes. I saw this was an option. That is going to be, you know, manual. Uh, nickname, sure, yeah. I'll see how the cameras feel. We could always invert them if we need to. It's nice that they allow that. But yeah, I've seen all of these. Let's go no autosave. I'm used to saving, so uh, cool option. I'm not going to use it personally, not right now. And I think that's pretty much it. Skip movies, that's pretty good. You know, if you're replaying this or if you're doing a speedrun of this to skip some cutscenes, that's pretty good. All right, settings saved. Let's go. We got the town map out here, man. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, I kind of like... This is so clean. This just feels like a very... It feels like a very squeaky clean game. I love all the design choices that they've gone with. Can I, uh, can I zoom out? Oh, I just backed out of it. Oh, look at the Rotom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it tells you, uh, a little bit of, like, Rotom Dex stuff. Like, Hop is waiting for you outside. I like that. Oh, yeah, next destination is Y. Nice. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I like it. And then we have our bag, which we've also seen a little bit of. Oh, we got three potions. Look at that. That's sensible. Adventure guide. And we get a fishing rod out of the gate. I like to see that. So, guys, feel free to play along with me if you want. Do whatever you gotta do. I mean, I want to hear what you guys think of this game as we play it. And honestly, I'm really excited to just build this team out. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, you can see it in trailers all you want. But actually playing this game is just... This is like an experience already. We got a Badoo over here. Look at that. Very detailed environments, like just a lot of stuff, man. Like you got the flowers. This is this is just a joy already. Wow. 
Oh, look at the Wooloos! <laughs> have a look at you, Josh. That old bag looks like it could have... It could pull you over. Yeah, we actually have a pretty ginormous bag. It's like a suitcase. At least we know that it should not... It should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Uh, a Wooloo, but what is it doing here? He's being stupid. It's using headbutt. That's what it's using. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. What a stupid sheep. <laughs> no, that's taken care of. How about it, Josh? Let's race. Bet I could make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag? I love my bag. I'll have you know. Asshole. Oh, look at the Butterfree. Look at him go. Look at the Wooloos. Look at the Wooloos. What's up, my friends? Yeah, buddy. So I'm probably not going to read a lot of these dialogues. But I will, uh, I will talk to everyone. Hey, Josh, Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? All right, you're right. I, I totally knew that. Oops, I'm thudding. Look at all this. All this stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments section, anyone that is going to be playing Sword and Shield, what are you thinking for your team? Personally, the way I see it, I think this is pretty obvious, but I'm going to only use Pokemon that are, like, new to me. I mean, I could use, like, Galarian forms and whatnot, but I'm going to only use Pokemon that are new to Pokemon Sword and Shield, and maybe a Pokemon that's old if they have a, like, Gigantamax form. But that's the idea. We're going to go full Galarian, and that's the idea, man. I just want to use these Pokemon. I've seen some of the leaks, and just the ones that I have seen look incredibly good. Okay. Mom. Oh, my God. They said Mom. It's so UK. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along... <coughs> Water. Water, Sandy. <clears throat> I need water. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, and you brought along Josh. Hello, dear. Yes, I'm ready to go. I just choked in your kitchen, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed up in a cupboard? Dude, this sounds like so, like... So UK. Holy crap. He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Wedgehurst, man, these town names. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. You gotta come along. You blah blah blah. You gotta come with Josh. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Dude, it's actually really cool. We get to meet the champion right away. I, I like that a lot. That is really cool. Okay, so it's very obvious when you cannot go in a door. <laughs> that is uh, that is clear enough to me. I want to see, is there anything good up here? Any good items? Oh, he has a nice... Oh, look at those posters, man. I really appreciate the attention to detail just already from what I'm seeing. Just like, look, all of the caps and everything. All these little posters. I mean, I feel like the Pokemon YouTubers, the like the theory YouTubers are going to have a field day with this. There's going to be a lot of little details to like unpack, you know, your your bo your bird keeper Tobies and your mystic Umbreons of the world are going to have a field day with this. What's up, homie? What's up, homie? What's up, homie? Hell yeah. This just feels like home, man. It feels like home. So yeah, I am probably going to try out, once I beat this game, I'm probably going to try out... Let's get a move on! Only remember, Josh, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through the patches of grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Josh, so we'll still... still blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm so excited. So we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. I want to go in the grass. 
Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, boy, hit me with that. Ooh. That's good. Oh, you're gonna stop me if I go that way. Yeah. No wandering into the tall grass. But yeah, I think if you guys follow me on twitch.tv slash the fourth gen gamer, I will be streaming the crap out of this game with shiny hunting, uh, surprise trades, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and what I was about to say is the Pokemon Sword and Shield speedrun. I will definitely be doing that. I want to give that a try. Once it's routed out a little bit more, I want to try out the speedrun of this. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion. Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been all working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Leo. Man, look at this. Look at this crowd. They'd be excited. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Hell yeah, Charizard. Lee! Hop! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, eh, Lee? And those bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Josh, am I right? Yeah, yeah, dude! I am the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Josh. Bet I can beat you. Oh my god, they're they're like they're like Barry from Gen 4. That hop always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret, for I am all might. I'm making him sound like All Might. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Glar can have a champion time. Wow, these camera like pans are really, really good. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present. So, out with it. I know what's gonna happen. You brought Josh and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Dude, there's something special to getting your starter Pokemon from a champion. That is incredible. Take a good look, you two. The Grass-type Pokemon Grookey, the Fire-type Pokemon Scorbunny, and the Water-type Pokemon Subble. Oh, look at the boys. The boys are back in town, man. I, oh, I'm digging this cutscene, man. Look at that. Oh, they're so cute. I feel like these Pokemon just have a lot of life. Oh my god. Oh, poor Sobble. They're bullying Sobble. All right, line up, everyone. Dude. Which will you choose? Wow. Oh, this is so good. Now, the only unfortunate thing here is uh, starter Pokemon are shiny locks. That sucks. I was going to shiny hunt for these boys. 
okay. Ooh. Okay, so I've been thinking about this for a long time. First of all, all three of these starters, I think, are really good designs. Second of all, I saw the leaks. If you did not, that's okay. I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, I did not mean to see the leaks. Let me just say that. Let me just say I was going to be Sobble. And I do like... Oh, yo, they, they, they changed to look wherever you are. Or maybe not. No, they just look randomly. Just kidding. They're not that smart. Wait, some of them look at you, though. Man, I don't know. Uh, but yes, I think Sobble has a fine evolution. But Grookey, oh my god. I wish I wasn't spoiled. Let me just say that, man. I just wish I wasn't. But we're going with Grookey. That's the decision. The grass type Pokemon Grookey. Yes. And we're not going to nickname this. I've been growing more fond of nicknames over time. However, in a new generation, I feel like it helps me to learn the Pokemon names by not nicknaming. Uh, my dude, let's go. Let's fucking go. So, it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Oh, look at Sobble and Wooloo. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Josh. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. <laughs> Poor score bunny. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. It's a barbecue. Yo, like, what? Uh, his name's Hop. Hop, right? Hop is like stoked about these like kebabs. The next day, you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, Hop. You two get along, getting all blah blah blah, getting on all right. Understanding one another. The wording on some of these translations is, is, is uh, tripping me up. <laughs> Maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course I have lead. Josh, Josh has made a fast friend with his Grookey too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me. The unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the... I missed the line. They want to be champions, pretty much, right? If you think Josh might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already? Hop! Guess I'll be the judge of that. Yo, Leon's like, I don't give a fuck about you. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Hell yeah, let's do it. I don't know how we're going to do it. If they have, uh, you know, two Pokemon, but I guess we'll see. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Oh, I'm ready. Wooloo! Let's go. A Pokemon battle it is. I've got two partners with me. Yo, this is unfair. I want to recount. Ooh, let's see. How does this all look? Oh, that's nice. This is clean, man. They've done a good job transitioning to the top screen only. I mean, I know we had that with Let's Go already, but like, yeah. Good stuff, man. Just everything, like the UI looks super clean. I mean, it was, it was fine in Let's Go. It wasn't great. 
but it was fine. Yo, the crit already? Is that, like, programmed to happen? A critical hit? What kind of beginner's luck is that? That's got to be programmed in. Everyone's going to get a crit there, man. It's going to be a scripted crit. Uh, oh, look, the XP. You know what I... Oh, branch poke. That sounds interesting. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. You know what I like? The EXP has a whole other screen, but it goes by very quickly. I really appreciate that. Branch poke. 40 damage. Grass type move. And it is uh, physical. Yeah. Cool. Not bad. Yeah, I feel like just these battles have a... Uh, just already. And man, we'll see how it goes as we move along. But holy moly. Did you already know about type advantages? <laughs> so, another crit? Do I have super luck? Jesus, man. But yeah, just overall, this screen is very quick. All the attacks, like, as they go, very, very quick. It doesn't feel, like, slow, which I, I appreciate that a lot. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much. So for those of you guys that don't know, I've actually uh, done speedruns of Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and X and Y. So I definitely want to take some of that experience I have and move it over to this game a little bit. I would love that. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you an, uh, give you a Pokemon too. Look at uh, look at Hop. He's like about to suck his own dick down there. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in all the fun, dude. You would you would literally incinerate us. I'm just saying. Get ever out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? Oh, what a guy. And Josh, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a, ri a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a, a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Josh. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn, yeah, get Pokemon. Cool. Yes. Yes. Love and passion. I understand this. Right, right. We get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like we're off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Josh. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next Pokemon champion. So completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legends. You probably better go tell your mom, though. Okay, yeah, we'll go do that. All right, guys. We're going to go tell our mom. Josh, did you just hear that now? Did they break through? The gate's open and the Wooloo is there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Wooloo out here breaking the rules, man. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? I mean, obviously. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful, the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Josh, what do you say? I think we gotta save it. If we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Well, guys, you know what? That's a perfect opportunity to close off episode one. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, then uh, please subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe and ring the notification bell. We're going to be uploading a lot of Sword and Shield. When I say a lot, I mean, like, a lot. So be ready for it. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.